to you madam uh, cs 45 advanced software engineering we'll be doing a demo presentation today for our race one project our team name is just food we currently have four members in our team just to give a brief update on how we have done our project lemaki and rajiv were involved in the backend coding of the project while Patterson and it's way working on the front end of the project and that is how we have all worked together as a team to do this project now i will tell you the contents which our demo video will contain so our demo video will contain the registration and login from all perspective of the admin also known as the manager staff of the cafeteria as well as the patron which is the customer so menu manager activities he will uh, be able to do certain things which staff won't be able to do in the website which will be shown into the demo video we will also show how we have made a mock-up payroll deduction system which has been integrated into the cafeteria inventory system and uh, to tell more about architecture we are using Django framework it is in Python with database as Postgres database we are using so we are using MVT model view template architecture since it is suitable for Django it is similar to MVC we have further discussed uh, this uh, MVT architecture in our design document madam you could have a check in that so our database design will also show our database design in the demo video as well as validations some of them are working now while some are still left to be worked on in our release 2 feature and also show the coding standards the features which have been covered in our release are order mails from cafeteria lunch menu to be either picked up or delivered we will be showing you registration option for payroll deduction as well as patrons be able to request meal delivery on site for USB locations for feature 6 we will show how the cafeteria manager will be able to add, delete, view and modify the items that are present on the cafeteria menu and also show you how our web interface looks like thank you now we will move on to the demo part okay I'll to use our application you have to first sign up in the front end page uh, to sign up you have to so this is our local host address these are home page these are the items available uh, that are loaded from the backend uh, and when you want to sign up you can just click on this sign up button by writing username email all these fields are required uh, and for password you can just enter any simple password you have to let's say so when you try to register with the password it will tell you that uh, your username or that username is already exist in the backend let's see so you have to use a new username change your username and when you try a simple password this password is the source content at least eight characters and it's too common password is entirely numeric so I didn't want to record it so right now I'll change my password a greeting here a mixture of numeric numbers and characters so now when I'm registered I'm able to go to the site I will be able to create orders. Let's say if I walk out and I want to create an order or an item, it will prompt me to log in. So, so we have three user access level. This is for the manager. For the manager, they have to log in using this address. With the local host slash admin. And uh, I've already created a username for manager. And they logged in. You can see that the customer that I recently created is this S1107641. And 
and uh, it is a user you can also delete users these users are built into Django uh, models but these uh, tables are from our models from the backend which is from our models.py file in our uh, in our code program so so that's it uh, for the menu manager activities uh, the menu manager can uh, see all the customers that are there as you can see we have reached four customers already here already making purchases and uh, one of them is registered for payroll and the total or the total are also there and also the food menus like uh, we already have six food menus uh, i think we can add a new menu by going into this and uh, create a filling in all the details for for each menu let's say you want indian curry and we can choose the image in the curry open and you can try the description spicy and tasty price as well as uh, labels and the label color slug is each uh, item will have a unique slug it's a piece and chips and when they click on save you can also click on this box whether it is uh, available for subscription or not and you can save the item by clicking on the save button right now i don't want to save this because i already have this item there uh, in the curry so when i add an item from here it will automatically be, be in the front end so let's say i want to log in from the front end with this user say customer okay i want to use this user because i'm not registered for payroll my user this one more and uh, let's say i'm writing the wrong password it will ask me to log in again okay my password so now I'm able to log in and uh, as you can see in our database we also have a separate section for we also have a separate section for cafeteria stuff so I'm using uh, three different browsers to to reflect on all this so I'm all currently logged in so as you can see from the back end I have for users we have a cafeteria stuff user which I already created for cafeteria, cafeteria stuff and I try to log in from this browser and I logged in as a cafeteria staff let's say cafeteria staff and uh, so entering the wrong password it will ask me to log, log in again so now when I type in the correct password to go in but you can see that the, the interface is a bit different from uh, from the patrons uh, web interface user interface you only have the home page and the test when you click on test book so you will see all the items here the total earnings the pending orders right now we don't have any pending orders we don't have any completed orders we can only view the items that are there so right now we have six items we can delete and update uh, these items and we can also add new items uh, as a gift to your staff user and uh, this is the dashboard uh, so i'll be moving on to as you can see oh, in the database design where uh, as you can see these tables here in the main uh, these are all classes from our models so these are all these classes as you can see 
we have uh, customer and then we have payroll and these are the different fields for the customer this is linked to a user table and this user is this user is this user user table here and it's a built in uh, Django user table and found and we also have a payroll table we have an item table which is the mill and the labels that are there available there and the mill type what print types is it for lunch dinner or breakfast and then we have our reviews table location tables and we also have this uh, order items table which are linked to the customer using foreign keys and items as well as delivery location and we also have the delivery mode status whether it has been delivered or picked up and we also have a mail subscription tables uh, we in this in this release we are also we managed to complete uh, mail subscription as well which is a weekly subscription now. and uh, okay so moving on I'll try to demonstrate for someone ordering, ordering meals from Kiftira so when a staff is uh, let's say since I'm already logged in when I want to purchase an item I'll just click on order now and add quantity so that item is being added to the cart and I want to add another item Let's see, I want to add another item. Also, add, and I want to add, a, let's see, at least three items. I want to in and count. You can also delete any of this item if you want and wish to. Then proceed to checkout. See, you have the three items there, and you just have to fill in your delivery details. Delivery details and. Uh, time that you want to order the item for let's say I want it uh, by tomorrow at uh, 11 41 it will take location oh, so right now when I click on it it, it take me to this uh, payment page so when I click on that uh, save button, it is taking me to this page where I can uh, proceed for payment. So when I click on proceed for payment, since right now this user, this customer patron is not registered for payroll. So when I am clicking on this button, it will require me to fill in this form so I can register for payroll. When I click on submit, I am now registered for payroll and the item is paid. So when I check the payment, let, let's just reload this. You can see that I am now the registered payroll uh, column is being ticked. It's a building. When I check payroll, there's also a. You can see that, that I'm now also registered for payroll. Registered. Okay. So right now I can purchase the item, once I click on this paid order, I can click on the delivery details and this is my payroll account balance and I'm buying receipts that took me $32. This is my delivery summary, when I view order summary, these, are, these orders are being marked as active. So the, the cafeteria staff in this case will have to see the orders from the backend. So right now when I reload this page I can see that I have three pending orders. No orders has been delivered. And the total earning is 32. So yeah. completed orders, there's still no completed orders. Let me check my pending orders. I can see that I have three. So I want to delete this item should be delivered. Let's leave with this item by changing the status. So when they change the status you can see completed orders has one so when I reload my front end so right now so all this item has been paid but when the customer wants to check their orders order details they said they want to 
reload or just click on your orders you can see the past orders it's been there and it is being delivered this is the delivery date uh, so yes so that's feature one and feature four done and the uh, feature five is uh, yes request mail delivery so that it is being requested for delivery and it's being uh, approved by the cafeteria staff and uh, or cafeteria menu so uh, from the back end uh, this is the food menus the manager can uh, can delete a particular item let's say you want to delete this item can delete and they can create so they can view by clicking here and they can do the price description the quantity field and they can add some more item uh, as a manager let's see I want to add new item okay and uh, it's uh, veggies. Let's say it's veggies. Price is twelve dollar. So right now, when I reload the front end home page, there won't be any. The item is not there. It is being deleted. So I'm re-adding the item. Let's say it's veggies. Label color, see success. Primary. Add the slides. It is dinner. Subscription is available for that item. So that item is being added successfully. You can see it's you. And when you go to the front end, when you go to the front end, yes, the item is there. Yes, so, so, yes, so that's it for our application. Uh, just an extra feature, as you can see, these other labels that we just to make a front end uh, a bit uh, more attractive. As you can see, our subscribe button is also working, and a uh, customer can choose the days they want to subscribe with let's say I want to subscribe from Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday they can click a uh, time uh, which they want the orders to be delivered payment method delivered location when I click on the save button it will create those orders for that item for the DC you can see that it's on this is a weekly subscription so it's from May 11 May 12 May 13 14 till Sunday which is the 60th yes. you can see the order has been created as well and when you proceed to check out you can order for this item you just you know, again have to fill in the uh, delivery details and the location as well. I can save. I can see that the now your item is being paid. Delivery details. Delivery sent. These are all the items that you purchase. Some are from subscription. Some are from. Order summary. You can see that all the items there are already paid. Total of 68 orders. Then from the back end, you can also see the middle subscriptions uh, section. And you can see the number of days is 6. And the time is 4.56 pm. And it is this item. This customer is born for sale. And these are the days that uh, they have uh, ordered the items from yes so that's it for our application uh,
thank you very much. I uh, hope you uh, like our website, whatever it is. And uh, you feel free to post or ask any questions to us, uh, group members. And another thing I want to note is that uh, in our GitHub page is that uh, we, I was the only one who was posting uh, most, uh, myself, Bonfacio was the only one who was posting most of the changes. This was uh, because we finding it difficult to, to commit to the master branch. So I'm even, I was even, uh, I even can do some of the changes for myself. So I managed to create another master project for our just fruits uh, repository so uh the other group members were the changes they were doing they were just emailing it to me and i was the one who published all these changes uh, to our github repository thank you very much this is rajiv speaking we have integrated github to zenhub as it is the leading leading project management platform built for software development teams using GitHub. Uh, Zenhub helps in keeping the team productive and focused while ensuring a project's status is up to date and decisions could be made based on more uh, accurate and timely data. Features such as overview, cumulative flow, control chart, bend down report, velocity tracking, and release report are also included in Zenhub. And, uh, on the board, we have all the issues present which is yet to be completed and uh, completed and uh, the issues that we have closed or completed. This helps in tracking our team's progress and uh, keeping us up to date with uh, how much uh, work has been done and what needs to be done at what time. Thank you.